Hello guys, welcome to online web tutor presented by Professor's team. I am Sanjay. We are learning WordPress plugin development tutorial using boilerplate. This is our part number 17. Inside this video session guys, we will see that how can we create page on plugin activation. In the last video, we had seen that how can we create and drop tables when plugin installs as well as when uninstall. So I strongly recommend guys please watch previous videos first before going with this session. So here what is the meaning of this create page? Remember inside this WordPress panel we have a pages section. While clicking on this add new actually we can create our own custom page or our own WordPress page. So we want to create a WordPress page on the plugin activation. Back to editor. So if we want to create any table, any page or anything then we need to go inside this activator file. This file will create all the things when the plugin activates or installs. So let's say that as we know that already we are creating two tables. So inside the same method called activate actually we had to do coding for creating page as well. So go here. Let's say that we need to create page on plugin activation. So firstly before making any page inside our table we need to check that the page already exists or not. So how can we test? If I back to our phpMyAdmin go to WP post because inside this table actually when we will create any post any page the created content will go inside this WP post table. So while creating WordPress page firstly we need to check that the post name already exists or not because this post name is the post slug. If suppose we have already a page with the name so we can't create that page inside this table. Remember post name should be unique. So back to editor. So firstly we need to check that. So we are going to use called WPDB. We have a method called get row and inside this I am going to use the prepare statements as well. So this would be something WPDB prepare and inside this prepare method let's say select all from something the table name call if we want to take about the prefix and this is about post table where let's say post underscore name equal to placeholder and this is let's say that we are going to create a page with the name let's say manage or simply let's say book tool. So here what we are doing we are selecting a post from our table called WP post table and this is something called WP post. This is WP prefix actually we are getting via this variable and this is post table. So we are just comparing that if this post name already exists then we will get data. So let's say that get underscore data. Here let's say if not empty get underscore data it means that already we have data with this post name else we are going to create that. So let's say create page now here we need to provide our code to create the post inside our WP post table. To create any post inside WordPress table, we have a function in WordPress called WP insert data. So if we go to the browser, search for this method called WP insert post and WP. So just type this method name or the function name open into a new tab. So WP insert post inside this the first parameter takes about the post array parameters like post name, post title, post author, post status and so on. 
So all these parameters actually we have to pass inside WP insert post to create any post inside WP posts table. So back to editor. Let's say that post underscore array underscore data and inside this we are going to pass our post parameters. So let's say that something post title. So we are going to call book tool in the next let's say post underscore name and it should be something the slug we are going to use called book tool post underscore status equal to something let's say we want that this should be in publish status so here we have to provide call publish actually by default it will be in draft so publish post author so we have one author right now inside our table and that uses something admin so we are going to pass the admin user id so how can we find about this post author back to table open to a new tab go to wp users table and right now only one user that is single user we have inside this table with the id 1 so we are going to pass this id right here inside this post author next parameter we have to pass something post underscore content and let's say that this should be simple page content inside this or a simple page content of book tool and in next we are going to pass something post underscore type as we know that inside WordPress there are several post types as we have called post, page and etc. So we are going to create this post type as page. Now all the parameters means these are the needed parameters actually we need to pass while creating our post. Otherwise we have several parameters instead of these parameters rest we can find here. Back here let's say that wp insert underscore post and I'm going to pass this array inside this so save all these changes back to browser go to admin panel click on plugins so right now if we open about the pages section so we have two pages and one at the draft and right now we have no two tables what we had designed inside this database. If we back to install plugin list and click on activate button. Now we can see that plugin activated. Go here. Now if we reload this. Now we can find that these two tables we have. And also if you open about WP post table. So inside this table as we go through descending order. Now we can find about the last entry inside this table as what we have created a page inside our code. And inside this table, this is the record actually we can find about book tool what we have created. Again, if we back to the pages section, reload this page. Now inside this list, we can see that this is the page actually we have dynamically created. Click on view to go to its front end and this is the post title this is the post content and it is in publish state so successfully guys inside this video we had seen that how can we create dynamic pages on the plugin activation so inside this video session guys if you went out then please drop your comment i will give my reply as soon as possible so for this video session guys thank you for watching and have a great day